Hello, what's up? I'm gonna mute this. Uh, <laughs> no. This is a guitar demo, not a guitar demo, an amp demo, actually, that I'm doing by myself. No one's telling me, you know, no one's giving me an amp, no one's, you know, it's not by Fender, it's just me, myself. Uh, I bought a new amp, it's a Fender Bass Breaker, and the reason I'm making this video is because you can basically get any tone you want out of it. Except if you're looking for that that heavy metal, because you're not going to get it out of a Fender. But, um, no, if you're more like a country guy, or like a, uh, like a blues guy, like, that's all I've been playing lately is blues. That's why I bought the amp, for blues. But, this amp is, got to be one of my, favorites, amp, my favorite amps that I've had. And I've only had a couple amps, and I've been playing for like three years. But, no, uh, I've, I've played on a lot of amps. Especially in the mix of getting this one. And this one takes the cake. In my opinion. So, this explains something to you real quick. It is called a bass breaker because it has a lot of, well, bass. But, here's the thing about it. Is that if you are if you want to play like that, uh, like, I listen to a lot of Stevie Ray Vaughan. If you want to play more of that, uh... <laughs> play more like that kind of style the one thing you have to do is like your middle all right turn it all the way to treble and your treble turn it the same way as the uh the middle is pointing so i know i sound like a two-year-old explaining an amp but you know about th three quarters of the way uh i have my bass sitting in the middle but the sound that i'm getting out of the out of my amp right now is because of that but if you're looking for like a uh you know like that warm more bassy chord progression type of tone like your chords if you're looking for that you definitely want to leave the treble uh you know halfway the middle halfway and just about everything halfway but, no. Uh, I went ahead, instead of buying the big one, I bought the 15. Because the big one's way too heavy. And, let's just say, for me, and for where I live, alright, it's way, way pat. I You have to turn it up. That's the thing I didn't like about the big one. You have to turn it up just about all the way in order to get any sound of it, out of it. And you couldn't, like, just turn up the treble. Because there wasn't, like, any treble. Every, <laughs> not, not my type of amp. But another thing I want to say is Fender has, I know a lot of amps do it, but put a, um, I went with the 15, I think I already said that, put Hall Reverb in this. And if you don't know what that is, give me a second, and I'm going to show you. But, I'm going to turn down stuff and turn up stuff. But if you're looking for a clean sound, the, basically the only way you can do it. up that so bad. No, um, yeah, you can hear it. It just sounds like you're in a school hall, just, you know. You can hear it in the background. That's the part I love about it. But, um, if you're, your distortion, that's another thing. If you're used to Marshalls and everything, if you're used to Marshalls, your orange, your typical grunge, you know what I mean? Well, you're probably not going to want to go for it. If you're a blues guy, well, a couple other things. I mean, if you're running a pedal board, I mean, that's a different story. But, um, here's the thing about the distortion. It's not a button. Everyone, like myself, you're used to a switch, uh, a little button, like on a Fender, not a Fender, bleh, my bad. Like, uh, on an orange to switch, on a, on a Marshall to button. On here, it's a little bit crazy. I'm going to pick up the phone for a minute. It's going to be a really crappy video. But, let me just mute this and put the guitar book down for a sec. You have your... You see your structure in your gain? There's bright. I would never take it off of bright. I love that part about it. Uh, I would never take the amp off of bright. I'd just leave that on full time. 
uh, because if not, really it makes no difference to me. But uh, your structure, how you have your low, your medium, and your high there, is basically uh, for your gain. Like, I have to turn down my gain a lot, a hell of a lot, with low on for your, uh, uh, you know, your country, whatever you want to call it. But if you're looking for blues, I go medium. If you're looking for kind of like a grungy blues, you really can't escape the blues just about anywhere. So, I would go for high. But, uh, I'm putting, I've put on a couple videos. I think I'm putting on one, actually. I had to go through and edit a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, brother. Uh, thing I would definitely do is every time before shutting it off, there's a, uh, a mute, which is like your standby. Uh, I, I put it on mute, and then I go to power, because something happened with my, I ha I've had the three of them, and the thing about them is that if you don't mute it before you power it off, it's, it's, it's rough on the amp itself. I don't know really, I don't quite get it. Like, it's not quite like an orange, once again, not like an orange. So, yeah, I would mute it, because my, uh, I don't, and then I started getting this buzzing sound, and then I had to take it back, and they gave me another one, and I took that one back, and then they gave me another one, till they finally said, what are you doing wrong? And I said, well, I'm not pushing the mute button. So, um, yeah, uh, it's the Fender Brace Breaker, 15, I said brace, again. Uh, base breaker 15 so yep that's all I got and uh, I'm gonna play a little bit now I'm gonna end it so yep yeah, once again I'm Bob everyone knows me I'm wearing glasses because I'm tired so yep we're gonna put it on a high crank up the gain and we're gonna turn up that son of a treble right there <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like it, subscribe it, send it to someone. Whatever. Like, like, subscribe, share. Uh, and yeah, keep playing.